Well, as soon as you've patched one of the FX units into the signal path, an icon appears on the relevant Vistonic screen. So if you've patched into the input channel, you get a nice lexicon icon on the channel strip that you can press. And here's the moment you've been waiting for. A beautiful lexicon control panel appears below. Here you can see at one glance all the parameters that are available for editing of this type of effect, all laid out with their own graphical icons on the Vistonics rotary encoders below. What you can also see is that it's very easy to select a different type of effect, and you can see that we have three categories on the right-hand side, reverbs, delays and miscellaneous. Within each category, you can then select different types of that effect. So if we go back to the reverb type, we can then select all the different types of hall, plates and rooms and so on. And if you look closely, you can see that the available parameters below change depending on the type of effect you are controlling.